Hello, this is Shep here, Sun Valley Auto Club. This is the 1972 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. We're gonna do a uh, paint test as well as an engine run, start, and a quick test drive. One quick thing about a uh, paint meter, just tells you the thickness of the paint between the contact surface and metal. Anything under four is typically factory. There's a plastic hood on this Hummer, so it has no reading. Here's a gorgeous Mustang. Uh, a lot of body work's been done on it to make it look gorgeous, and you're gonna see 23s. Typical repaint is in the three, in the uh, sevens and eights. So Bondo's anything 10 and up. So this one, as we just go around it, you know, there's no Carfax. For it. So paint meter readings certainly help out. And then while you're seeing below the even the four level is that through uh, buffing sun exposure, you you lose your clear coat, which is most of your most of your thickness. So this one is just really low factory readings all the way through. So it's just a no hit car, no Bondo. And I kind of, well you can assume all the benefits of that. Uh, if you have Bondo, which hey, most of the classics do. I mean, that's just part of it. You just can't have a, uh, a typically a really nice car that is 50 plus years old and have it look good. You know, it's just not going to happen that often. That's why this one is kind of just a real special one. So people are going to Bondo. There are, they are going to change the paint color. Different things can happen to a car, obviously. Um, but this one, what's nice about having no Bondo on there is you know there's no rust growing underneath any sort of Bondo. Um, it's amazing when I go to auctions how much they just smell like a new paint booth. So when you want to sell a car, it's pretty easy just to do a little paint, cover up uh, a couple things, and it's good for six months, and then the car can come unwound on you. So this one being original paint, it's a no-hit car, it's never been taken apart, put back together. It just operates and drives like it should. So there's the paint meter. Let's take a listen to the engine here. Give it a start up. All really original under here. Engine's never been repainted. A lot of times you see all the springs and struts and hoses just get painted if something doesn't do an engine out job. But once again, all factory, all original. We'll give it a start up, have a listen. Take a closer look at the uh, driver's area that we kind of skipped on the last video. This seat's in excellent condition, just like the rest of them. Uncracked dash has obviously been kept inside. Power windows all work. 
the rears come up there's the switch for all your interior lights lights brights and there's your switch that comes on turn signals one thing too this is a not only just a tilt wheel, it's also a telescoping wheel. Oops. Oh, that's the lock position. So you can pull that out, lock it into place, and then you also have the tilt feature as well. So, wipers, and they are the hideaways. And we'll hit the road. That big long <laughs> seeing the world off that big hood. Of course, Cadillac suspension handles all these bumps and dips like they weren't even there. Horn works, love the sound of the Cadillac horn of this era. train horn. Busy day at the airport. A lot of private jets. Braking is super strong, hands free, nice and straight. Do have one crack on the wheel. Power steering is delicious. No clunking as you get it into reverse. Shifts are nice and smooth. Super comfortable seats, but not all broken down. They're supportive. One hand driving, power brakes. Meant to be a luxury car in the early 70s, and uh, certainly a luxury car now as well. So, one family owned Cadillac DeVille, Sedan DeVille. If you've got an interest in this, we've got it up on our website, in our showroom, in our facility. I'm Shep with the Sun Valley Auto Club. You can contact me at 208-721-1973. Talk to you soon.